Hey there, it's Mr. Larry, and if you are anything like me, you might be preparing for warm gatherings with friends and family as things outside cool off a little bit. I'm gonna show you how I sweeten a good gathering with a little bit of help from my local Joanne store and with Wilton, who's always been there to help us take our baking to the next level. I want to give a big special thank you to Joanne for sponsoring today's video and bringing all of us crafters and families of crafters closer together. First, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite simple but delicious fall time cupcake recipes. And then we'll top it off with some beautiful gum paste decorations that are so easy to make, you'll be... You'll be... You'll, um... First up, our cupcakes. You can screenshot this recipe for later or check out my bio link for the source. We basically whipped together some pumpkin, vanilla, and spices for a delicious muffin-like cupcake packed with flavor. Bake at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. And be sure to let them cool completely before decorating. While those cupcakes are baking up, ooh, I'm real shiny. Don't go nowhere. So while our cupcakes are baking, I'm gonna turn a few blobs of gum paste into some beautiful decorative leaves that are also ready to eat. I picked up most of the things you see here at my local Joanne store. These little cookie cutters I've had for a while, which is why they look a little, a little aged, but we're just gonna look past that because we're filming a video and we don't have time to order everything that we need for things all the time. So we persevere and we keep going and we pray that we don't get rust poisoning or whatever. They're just a little worn, but they're, they're good. They're good. Gum paste dries quickly, so keep your unused supply in an airtight container. I start by adding gel coloring to small sections of the gum paste. I'll be using three base colors for my leaves. Roll the paste out for a thin, even surface, and then cut your leaves. Carefully weed the excess paste away, and remember that this can be reused. I add some delicate details using a silk leaf to make an impression on the leaves and then position them to dry for about 24 hours with some curves and bends for a natural effect. Once these delicate accents are dried, I use Wilton's color dust to carefully add some finishing touches and contouring. Next, we just put it all together and enjoy our beautiful work. I hope that you were able to make something special for your friends and family as you gather together these holiday seasons. And if you can't remember what to be thankful for, just look around you. Stay safe and stay crafty.